Hello together. Now we are discussing the topic match. So the stage is yours. Thanks a lot, Maria. My name is Kai Kohler, Key Account Robotics. My name is Tobias Ikade. I'm the product manager for Lightweight Robotics. What challenges do we see in robotics? In general, production must get more and more flexible. Because of what? Lot sizes are constantly decreasing. That means we have more and more different work pieces which are operated by the same robot. Robots are also not always at the same place. So they are moved from machine one to machine two. Or even more, they are on an HEV, so they are mobile robots for bin picking application and stuff like this. So it's obvious that this cannot be done with only one end effector. So we need the flexibility and match is actually the smart interface between the robot and the end effector. With match, we are ready for the future and we are absolutely flexible. We'd like to show you the flexibility of our end effectors in this demonstration by disconnecting the end effector and connecting it to any other robot. So you can see it's easily to connect any end effector to any robot. And we like to show you this example on another stage. Here you can see how easily it is to connect the end effector to the fixed part. And you can also see the connecting LED. So if you connect the loose part with this end effector to the fixed part, it lights green. So you have a signal to, and you know, okay, everything is good. And now we like to show you this demonstration also on another robot. Here you can see how easily you can connect it. So here we could see the flexibility. With this demonstration, we could see the flexibility in regards to the different robots. Beside this, we also have the flexibilities in the end effectors. That means we have long stroke rippers, which are servo functionality, so you can adjust stroke and force maximum functionality. We also have smaller grippers for smaller work pieces. We have collaborative grippers, so safe gripping in human robot collaboration. Plus, on top, the mesh system is also compatible to vacuum technology. 90 to 95 percent of all applications in handling can be made either with mechanical grippers or with vacuum grippers. And the mesh system offers compatibility between those two technologies. Beside our manual tool changing, now you can see the automatical tool changing with our rack. And as you can see, if we disconnect from the end effector, the LED gives us a signal, a red signal, so you know it's disconnected. And if the end effector is connected to the fixed part, you can see the color is changing to blue, so you have an optical visualization. Also, we have two possibilities to connect the fixed part to our robot. The first version is go into the tool I.O. and connect it down to the controller. The other op option is connect it belong the robot and then go down to the controller. So the entire ecosystem consists of vacuum generators from Schwanz plus end effectors, mechanical end effectors from Zimmer. They can swap, be swapped in and out without any external energy needed, no compressed air, no electrical signals. It's just done by the robot as Tobias has shown. Depending on the robot, we go inside or outside, means we have communication modules directly at the flange, or we have the smart communication module inside the robot cabinet, which allows us the communication from the robot controller to the gripper and vice versa. Interesting here is also that we have integrated 
the uh, wizard functionality for mechanical grippers as well for the vacuum devices so for the user for maintenance for everybody who is in charge of the device it's always same so we can guarantee maximum availability of the entire line or robot cell thanks for your attention and stay tuned if you like to get further product information, visit us at YouTube or LinkedIn or at our landing page.